Hi guys, what's up? So I wanted, to, I wanted to, I was like, okay, I've never done something like this before where I take all these different hair wands and show you the curl in all of them and what length or what size is like where you can see it on this hair length. So that's what I'm gonna do today. So let's roll this sucker out. First, I'm gonna part off my hair and kind of show you. I do have it parted over right now, but I'm gonna split it down the middle so that you can see. This is day two hair. I do have a little bit of curl to it. It was with a flat iron, so that can possibly also make it so it doesn't curl as well. Um, but we'll hold them on in there and wish for the best. All right, we're dealing with some static here, but so I wanted to break it down and show you um, underneath here with this bigger um, hair wand. I have a 32 millimeter wand and I have a 25 millimeter wand right here too, um, for you too. So um, this is gonna give me just a really awesome beach wave. So I, I can't remember if I did a tutorial on here or not with this size. It's just gonna give me a loose beach wave. Um, if I did do one, I'll link it, but I can't remember if I did because I make so many videos. Say, so here is the 32, and if I want this to last longer, so if I want this sucker to stay because it is so loose on me, um, I really have to make sure I get in there good, spray it with hairspray while it's while it's cooling down and just not touching it to loosen up the curl at all. Before I ever start my curls, I always blow dry my hair with product. A lot of people don't want to, but a lot of times when you feel like you're not getting a curl to last, it's because you're not having product in your hair, which isn't helping you out. So making sure you have set products, ones that you love, make sure you're adding some type of volumizer, some type of something that adds a texture, and something that's protecting your hair. So the volume, excuse me, the volume, the texture is huge, and the hair protection as well. Don't go too thick, don't go too heavy with product. Pick you something solid, pick you something good. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the 25 millimeter and try and keep it at the same size of piece. Right here, so here's the 25. Like so. And I have mine at like 310, or sorry, 390 uh, heat. And, or 410 or 400, somewhere in there when I do mine. So this one is the 25. So you can see that there definitely for sure is a difference in the two, um, but that the, the 32 is a lot looser than the, third, than the 25 is. <laughs> All right, now I'll just do a couple more and then we'll roll out a couple different sizes. I like using this size though for just an everyday good curl. This one's really fun. Like I said, this one is just if I wanna get a, a wave, just a wave. But here is a tip for you. If you do the 25 on day one, it will give you the 32 on day two. So, cause it's gonna loosen up. Um, it might even give you a little bit less on day two. But if you take care of that hair and like spray it, so it's really good and sprayed, um, you can use a texture spray, anything like that ahead of time. It's gonna give you a really good curl. So I'm gonna turn this one off because I want this one. This is actually a, a one that I can unlock it and then once it cools down a bit, I can pull that heat off there. But I don't wanna burn myself, so we're just gonna wait a second. So I'm gonna do a couple more so you can see the 32 size. And today I'm gonna show you a bubble wand a tapered wand and a 19 millimeter with the 25 millimeter wand and a 32 millimeter wand because that's all I have. But those are good sizes. Those are really good sizes for everybody to, to use and love. Okay, so see how light and loose that is? It definitely is a loose one for this length of hair. So imagine if you have shorter hair than this, the, the 32 is probably not gonna work. Might give you a little bit of volume, but it's not gonna give you that much curl. Okay, so again, it's really, really loose. All right, rolling on to the next. All right, so the next we have is a bubble wand, okay, and then a tapered wand. If I was to have a very favorite hair wand, it would be the tapered wand. 
I absolutely love it. I'm obsessed with it. I love how it goes from smaller to bigger and the size of it, it just gives me fun, funky curls. I even have a tutorial that I can put here that, and well, there's this little linky above, but I can give you that um, where I do it and I make a, just a really quick hair look with it so it's a little more fun, a little more funky. Okay, so the bubble wand is really cool too because you just get a funky size. So depending on how it goes on the hair, depends on how it turns out in the end. So you can either even have you can either have it go over things like just loose and fun and sporadic or you can make sure it goes everything perfectly. So just depending on how you wrap it depends on how it goes, but it is truly a really fun hair wand. So let me give you another example here. It's just, okay, so this one, I'm wrapping them all kind of in the same small little bubble there. <clears throat> I think you'll like this one. A lot of people do like some type of bubble wand, but see how there at the end, it just gives that little bit different piece. That like it just, it doesn't give it, get it all perfectly. It just leaves it kind of a little wonky, a little more fun. I really do love what the bubble one can give. So I'm gonna, I wanna make sure when this tutorial is over, <laughs> I look semi-decent. So I'm gonna throw in a couple pieces here using this bu bubble one too. Cause it's gonna be the hair that has it all, right? It's gonna have every little thing going on it. You wanna make sure when you have your wands that you hold them completely upright and not sideways like that to really achieve that look you're going for. We'll put this in here and then we'll call it good and move on to the next. I am obsessed with the Tabor wand. So the next one that's coming on, I probably, I will not probably, I use that one hands down the most out of everything. Let me fix this and then I'll come back with the tapered wand. All right, here comes my very favorite wand. So this one for short hairstyles is incredible. Absolutely love it. So I start off small and then I build it up, um, up in here. <laughs> if you don't want it to have such a tapered part and ha have such a tight curl right here at the root, then you can just always start it further down. I'll give you an another example. So instead of wrapping it up here, you just take it to this end and wrap it along in here so it doesn't hit that top piece. And there you have it. That's, this, is like, this is like having two in one as well. And you can just have different lengths. So you can see this is just a little more loose than what this can give you. And you're golden. I'll show you a couple others on this side. So, so tight. If you want, up in there. And then I will show you loose, a little looser. Oh, and if you really wanna do it, then don't hold it in as long. So if you want tighter, more lasting curls, you're gonna hold it in longer, right? You'll hold it in longer, it sets, then you can spray it with hairspray after it's done with that part or either hold it, okay? And then spray it with that hairspray, hold it tight, hold it up, okay? But if you want it to be a looser curl, then you just won't hold it in as long. So this one is going to last a lot longer for you. Your hair curl will be set, but if you just won't hold it in as long if you don't want it to have such a lasting curl. Okay, so on this one, when I do it, I'm gonna wrap it, um, more so down here. And if that still isn't right, then I'll just bring it down a little bit more like that. Okay, all right, moving on to the next baby. I'm gonna wrap a couple more curls with these ones and then I'll bring you our the last and final a 19 millimeter wand 
just for you to see the difference that it can bring. And then I'll show you my curls at the very end. Heck, maybe you should throw all six ones in there for like some cute hairstyle. Ready, JK, I'm just kidding. But if you want your short hair to have fun, awesome curls, I just wanted to give you these little tips for you to see which wand you think you would like best for your short hair. So the last one, we're gonna do the 19. And the 19 is just fun. It is definitely not one that I would do on the daily, but it seriously is so much fun. So I get as close to the root as I can. And you can choose if you wanna do a, a rope wrap or a flat wrap. A flat wrap for using your wand is, um, more like what a curling iron would do for you. And a rope wrap is like straight up what a wand does for you because when you when you wrap something with a rope wrap, I'll show you because I kind of did a, a flat wrap and a rope wrap in here. Isn't that so fun? The cutest curl. I love it. So when you do the rope wrap, everything is kind of like all bunched in together. A flat wrap, everything in there is insanely flat. Like I said, like the curling iron would do for you. So when you do the rope wrap, it might start out and then this is all like kind of intertwined together and it makes your curl, you do have to hold it in there a little bit longer um, in order to get that lasting curl that you want, but it ends up being super pretty, but you have to hold it in longer because the hair is kind of intertwined together a lot more than if you were to do a flat wrap. So I'm gonna hold it a little longer with this. This is the 19 millimeter. So again, we did the 32 millimeter first, then the 25, and then we did the tapered wand and the bubble. Okay, so now watch this. Look at how fun that is. So again, if I want this curl to last, I'm gonna spray it with hairspray. And you do want them to dry more. So if you're trying to get a lasting curl, you do want them to dry more up together, right? So not to, um, don't be pulling on them. If you don't want them to be this curly, then while they are, um, uh, while they are cooling, <laughs> the hair's cooling down, you would like pull on them and get them to not be as curly, okay? So these are these curls right here are going to last. Again, I put product in my hair beforehand. So again, I would just come through here, and then if I don't want this curl to last as long, I'm just gonna undo it, and you can see that difference. So lasting curl, not so lasting curl, but gives is just what you can do. So this is our last wand. I'll go through and I'll curl my hair and then it has all those, those final ones, but I'll let you see the very end that I'm gonna finish out with the 19 millimeter. Okay, so we now have all those curls. It adds so much texture into your hair. These are definitely curls that are gonna last me. I feel, you know, for a while, like I, I'm gonna be, well, besides the fact that I'm gonna wash my hair, but these are lasting solid curls. So remember, the smaller the wand you go, the more they're gonna last. The longer you hold it in, the longer it's gonna last. I usually hold in my curling iron, or my curling wand, sorry, from anywhere from seven to 12 seconds, but if I'm doing closer to the five to seven, it's gonna just do that little wave that won't last you as long of a curl, and these are gonna last you a lot longer. These right in through here, oh, they're gonna stay tight for a long time. So I hope you loved that tutorial. Okay, here's my question to you though. So we have wands and we have curling irons, okay? And I know that everybody sees them differently. So they either use one or use the other because they just thought that's what they should do. So my question to you is, which one do you like better? And which one do you prefer as a curl better? Because you answering that question can help out a lot of ladies. What's your hair type like? How short is it? And what do you prefer? Okay, so comment those questions or those uh, answers below so people can kind of get a feel for because you are going to help them get to know what they want for their hair. Have a good one. If you ever need me, go over to Instagram, jocelyn.mcclellan, and then Fit Mission Makeup with Jocelyn McClellan on Facebook. Have a good one. Take care. <laughs>